we will look at how control input is translated into surface control movement. Pilot commands to the flight control surfaces to fly the aircraft in pitch and roll are through either side stick. The electrical signals created by side stick movement travel through the flight control computers before being passed to the surface hydraulic actuators, also referred to as servo controls. These computers analyze the signal to check that it is a safe command and ensure the optimum flight control surface deflection for the demand. These processed electronic commands are then sent to the appropriate flight control surfaces hydraulic actuators, producing flight control surface movement. When in normal law, regardless of the pilot's input, the computers will prevent excessive maneuvers and exceedance of the safe envelope in pitch and roll axis. However, as on conventional aircraft, the rudder has no such protection. We will discuss normal law in more detail in an upcoming lesson. Now, let us look at the flight control surfaces themselves. The flight control system incorporates ailerons, elevators, a rudder, a trimmable horizontal stabilizer, THS, and ground spoilers speed brakes. Let us discuss the spoilers. The spoilers have several functions. The speed brakes use the three central spoiler surfaces. Roll control uses the four outer surfaces. Look at the left spoilers as they are deployed, then at the right spoilers as the wings are leveled. The ground spoilers use all five surfaces. The ground spoilers deploy at touchdown. <laughs>